hi folks i hope you're doing okay um i hope it's not too noisy i've got the all the doors open because roxy's going out in the garden now and beyond she keeps appearing upon the shed roof so she's obviously been over on the back field with pickle um but yeah i just thought i'd check in um and tell you how the craft fair went i what day is it? it's monday the 4th of july so happy 4th of july to uh, my american viewers i hope you're having a good day and staying safe with all the fireworks and things like that um, however you celebrate i hope you enjoyed it or well, you've enjoyed it um it's quarter past four in the afternoon it's quite warm here it is watch says 18 degrees it's warm in this conservatory very warm uh, and of course i'm wearing black but i came home from work and i had like a, a vest undershirt on and then a linen jumper and I took that off because it was quite warm. I had to go and fetch Jack. Um so yeah the craft fair I did on Saturday went really well. It rained <laughs> so much uh, and it was outside. It was outside. Um a couple of people there with stores had um gazebos over their table but um I don't have one. Uh, I'm not that organised. Um, so they got some plastic sheeting which I put over my table before we even managed to set anything up. I had to cover my table. Um, and it, it started at one in the afternoon. And we got there about half twelve and I couldn't start putting anything out until about ten to one. And then it was like, quick, get everything out. Um, and then we had to cover stuff up and I had to put my blankets away in the tub because it started raining again um, I pretty much just got my umbrella held over all my stuff when it started raining uh, it, it didn't rain as badly as, as that first sort of downpour but there was probably about seven or eight showers across the three hours I was there um, it wasn't cold or anything it was just obviously crocheting tipping it down with rain it's not, not they don't mix very well but I sold. Is that you? What was that? Oh, I think, sorry. I think next door are hammering something. So if you heard that, I do apologise. <laughs> I thought it was Jack. I was like, what are you doing? Um, yes, I sold 39 items. Um, all my octos went. Um, I made 16. I thought I'd made less, but then I found like one more in my tub. I did make 17, but one was a raffle prize. Um, so 16 of those sold, four Brontos sold. Uh, I think I had six, six or eight bees they sold. Um, no zombies sold. But I noticed it was, it's like a nursery and a primary school. Uh, and the, the crowd was much, you know, the kids were much younger. So I hardly sold any jellyfish key rings, only about two or three. Um, didn't sell my llamas, sold one chubby bunny. Um, but that's good anyway, because I've got them, I do, I've got another fair on the 15th. So I haven't got to make anything big. I'm just focusing on octopi and bees. And I didn't have any seahorses for this one, so. I'll make some of them. Um, yeah, I've still got pencil keyings left. So it's, it's like bees, octopus, seahorses. I may have written something else down, I can't think. I don't know my book is. I don't know. Anyway, so on Saturday afternoon, <laughs> I got home. It was one till four. Um, and Paul came and fetched me rather than me trying to. I didn't know what the parking situation would be like. For me so i just got him to drop me off and jack came um, schmoozing with all the people he loved it um everyone takes to jack he's just so friendly because i said i don't know how you get away with it he ended up with free sweets and free chocolates and stuff and that one of the they had like the you know plastic bag cones of sweets one of those had split so they just gave it to jack I was saying on the way home from school, I don't know how he gets away with it. And he just turned around to me and the mums I was talking to and went, This is why. And I was like, Okay. Um, so, yeah, Paul fetched us and then we had to come back and get 
wait for the shopping to turn up. Um, so while we were waiting for that, I started baking again. So I've made I made this one on Saturday and one of these. I've got two in this yarn, so I don't know which was which. But I made those two on Saturday. This pattern is by Rel of the Dabbling Hook. I'll link it below. I always do. Um, it's wicked. Um, super quick. I can do it in my sleep now, I think. I've made that many. And then Jack told me that there was some yarn in my tub that's full of, you know, that, that I put all my makes in. It's like there's some wool in the bottom of that. So he's pulled it all out for me. Um, so I made another, there was some more of this. This is the ice yarn lollipop cake or something. I made some out of this before. I made one of these and Jack nicked it because it matched something else I've made in. So kept it away from him this time. Uh, so then he found this ball and I have no idea where I got this from or what it is. But it's, I can't even think whether it was an Aldi yarn or Carol sent it to me. I cannot for the life of me think. It may have been an Aldi, like they're big. Yeah, you know, they did some like 200 gram balls of variegated. Might be that, but there's quite long colour changes. And I'm using, I think I used a 3.5 for that. This is Red Hot Super Saver. 3.75. And I used a 3.5 for this because it's slightly thinner. And I'm back to a 3.75 for this. Um, and then I carried on through the ball and made this one. Like, yeah, still pink underneath. I have cut quite a big chunk of this green out um, down there because I've got one and it was it was predominantly green and it's a bit like bogey baby sick green. So um, I cut that out and then from the pink here I carried on and it's like pink and then it goes into white and blue and then the next was the orange and it carried on from the blue for the tentacles so I'm up to six this tray's next to me and I'm like have you been in there she goes out now she still comes in and poops inside one of my glamorous jobs every day when I get home from work and when I get up um so this is the last of this ball now and it's pretty much just all red it goes a bit it's got a bit of white and a bit of yeah, mild in there so I am making another one. I'm planning to just make octos until I can't be bothered anymore and then I'll move on to the next thing you know, and repeat until I've got lots of other little bits. But I'm in better shape than um, I could have been. If I'd had to make big stuff, I think I'd have been really panicking. But little things, I can just mop them up, it's not too bad. Um, I think I did get off sold um I had a rainbow granny square blanket that I did actually make for someone else that they asked me for and then I messaged them and said it's ready and they never messaged me back. I see them at school all the time. Like, so I sold it. To someone else at school. Um it's gonna be a present for one of the uh, teaching assistants that helps out with um uh is it Sen? She, she does Sen with, with um, one of our friends um, who's got autism. She's been with him about five years now, but she's not following on into the next year, so he wanted to get her a really nice present. And he, bless him, he said he wanted to get her some gifts that reminded her of him. So uh, he has blankets, he's got a couple of mine. He calls them Kiki's, and it's like a blanket he takes everywhere with him. Um, I made the I made another hexagon blanket last year, like the uh, Hooked by Robin rainbow hexagon blanket. I made one that was for him last year. So she, I sold that as well. Took that to school this morning for her. Um, I got to, ooh, I got to make the DJ turtle that I made. Um, one of the women at this that was part of a PTA or something at the school had asked um, <clears throat> if I had any turtles. I said no. I did it the last one. <laughs> And she was like, oh, my son's obsessed. And I described this one with headphones on and stuff. She was like, oh, he'd love her. So I said, I'll make one. She took a business card. I was like, just let me, you know, pop me an email or something and I'll tell you when it's done. Um, and another lady, I wrote my number on the back 
with one of my business cards because she wanted a baby blanket but in a green or gold or whatever so we've, I've been sending her pictures of my own to have a look at and tell me what she wants but um, I don't know if she's waiting to see her friend to show her some stuff and I was like I'll leave it with you just let me know so yeah it's, I'd, I'll potentially do it again if I'm offered or if it comes up but yeah it seemed nice uh, everyone was really pleasant so that's good uh, just on to the next one now that'll be weird because I won't have Jack with me because um, Toby will be sorting him out fetching him from school and stuff um, but yeah it should be good if the weather holds it's supposed to be nice for the rest of this week but it's at the end of next week so I'm like please don't I don't want another rainy fair was, it was a bit bit um my enthusiasm was dampened let's say for the first half an hour or so it was really quiet I didn't sell anything for half an hour 35 minutes or so and then it picked up so um I sort of went into it if, if I cover my fare cost fine it was only 10 pounds um but I more than covered it after you know sales picked up so it was fine and I've got stuff left so it was kind of the best of both really um yeah, so I'm going to leave it here and stop waffling. Uh, I've got a tennis on in the background. I'm having to watch tennis after work because I'm not at home to watch it. Disgusting. Um, yeah, it's going well being back at work. It is what it is. I'm not missing listening to music now. I've kind of got over that. Um, but yeah, I could do without the, the extra petrol cost. That would have been nice to. <laughs> we're at, well, pretty much £2 a litre for diesel. And. I paid £1.90 for petrol um, on Saturday and so far it's cost me £80 to get to work and back and I don't work very far away and my car's little. Yeah, but yeah Paul had to take my car last week to work because he's went in for his MOT and of course it failed and of course it needed work doing. So I guess we have to get the bus home. <laughs> um, but yeah. So it's done a couple of extra trips I wasn't planning. So hopefully next week will be cheaper. But then I've got some time off in the summer with the boys. So that will save me petrol. Um, but yeah, it's going okay. It's you know it's nice to see everyone. And it's not as horrendous as I thought it would be. Um, don't get me wrong, I would still rather be working at home. Because I get more stuff done. But yeah, not, not crochet. I don't crochet at home when I'm working. Because I'm just too busy. Um, you know, washing and stuff like that. I found it very hard the first week or two to try and keep my top of washing and pegging stuff out and, and things like that. But it's all good. I'm I'm used to seeing people now. I don't hiss and try and hide in a corner <laughs> too much. You know, a little bit. But yeah, I'm really gonna go. I'm gonna love you and leave you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for um, you know, people who've been asking me how it went and you know. Uh, wishing me luck on Instagram as well it's really kind so thank you very much um, and I'll update you I think before I do the next fair with what I've got made in case I make anything new if not you might get a bit sick of seeing octos and bees and stuff if I, I've got um, excuse me I've got some new pardon me I shouldn't drink coke I've got some new patterns but I don't know if I have time to try them before the fair so maybe it would be new stuff after the fair because I'm not planning on doing another one until Christmas unless something comes up but I don't I haven't got another summer on it in the pipeline and I kind of need to rest my hands were a bit of a wreck last week um, so yeah I do say I'll rest I mean I've got a blanket that I'm halfway through I can't even remember what row I'm on and I might have a new blanket to be working on so I don't know but yes I'm really going. Um, so I hope you're all doing okay. The neighbour is banging again. Um, Jack can't hear it, it's not reacting. So yeah, take care. Um, I'll see you all again soon. Bye guys.